Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Crizzy here. And in tonight's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the 2012 movie, which is also the start of a, of a franchise based on the books and novels of the same name. And this review is on The Hunger Games. The very first Hunger Games movie released in 2012. So, The Hunger Games is, is, is based on the, the book series of the same name, The Hunger Games. And so, I'm going to read on the back of the Blu-ray here. Every year in the ruins of what, of what, once, what was once uh, North America, the capital of the nation of, of, Pan, of Panem, the forces each, each of its 12 dist districts to send a teenage boy and girl to compete in the Hunger Games. 16-year-old Cadmus Everdeen volunteers in her younger sister's place and must rely upon her sharp in, in, in instincts when, when she's pitted against highly trained tributes who, who who have prepared their entire lives. If she's ever to, to return to, to District 12, Cadmus m m must make impossible choices in the, in the, in the arena that, that weighs survival against humanity and life against love. And the movie stars Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson as PETA, Liam Hemsworth, Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson, Elizabeth Banks, and Donald Sutherland. And of course, also starring Stanley Tucci, would everyone pronounce that last name? With music score composed by James Newton Howard and directed by Gary Ross and produced by Nina Jacobson. And of course, and of course, the Hunger Games franchise was also released by Lionsgate, and it's rated P. And, the, and this movie's rated PG thirteen for intense, violent, the thematic material and disturbing images, all involving teens. Yeah, excuse me, a little stuffy, a little, feeling a little stuffy, like that. But yeah. Anyway, so I. I I I actually seen all the Hunger Games films because I I've actually wa I've actually watched the the main Hunger Games series after seeing the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes in theaters like like, like last November, and I remember like a, and I remember like after Thanksgiving I watched all the Hunger Games films starting with this one, <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to say the first Hunger Games film I I thought is a really great movie I I actually thought it was a really enjoyable movie. And it's kind of like I said in my Ballad of Sombers and Snakes review. It's kind of like I said in my review on that film. The, the Hunger Games films the, the, do, do give you those vibes of, of Game of Thrones a little bit. It gives you those like Game of Thrones vibes. And and yeah, my my boss and my my boss at work at the high school cafeteria, Pat or short like Patrick, and like you know he he actually he 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 he's also seen all the Hunger Games films as well, mostly the main ones. And he and and he and he he actually likes them. Yeah, and I also like how like how the performances were actually played out very well in this film. Like like, like how this is the start of of of, of a film series, and <clears throat> excuse me. And I gotta say, like what makes this movie like PG thirteen rated is that is that there are some some scenes in this movie involving like disturbing images. Whether there's like some some violence or blood going like like some blood and some, and some scenes involving blood here and there. But but of course sometimes the blood sometimes the blood isn't really shown isn't really shown like too much the, like in one shot. But but aside from all that, I I still enjoy this movie and and I think the action sequences I I think I think were well or I think are pretty entertaining too. I thought the actions the action sequences I thought were pretty awesome. And and yeah, the performances were also very good too. Like Jennifer Lawrence, like Jennifer Lawrence is always good to see in the Hunger Games films, and Josh Josh Hutcherson's great as Peta in the film. And yeah, Elizabeth Banks, like she's always she's always beautiful beautiful to see. And and yeah, so and plus the runtime is also one hundred and forty two minutes, so it, it's a really long movie, kind of like just kind of like the other Hunger Games films. And yeah, and plus. And, and 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 in case some of you guys are wondering, like wait, which 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 film in the series is my favorite Hunger Games film? Well, I will say I think the first two Hunger Games, like this and Catching Fire, I think I think the first two Hunger Games films are great, and and of course and, and of course the Mocking Mocking Jay Part One and Two and Battle of Songbirds and Snakes, they were good enough. But if but but let's get but let's let's get to my answer. So 
if I were to pick if I were to pick one Hunger Games film that would be my favorite and my favorite in in, in the franchise, I think it would have to be Catching Fire. Yeah, because I I think I I I I think Catching Fire is the best one out of all of them. That's just me, of course, my opinion. And yet, and since this movie was released in 2012, the 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 first Hunger Games was act, is is the only Hunger Games film in the franchise where the Lionsgate logo it appears to be in like in, in like the it, it appears to be the previous logo because it, it was it was like the old it was like the you know the previous old Lionsgate logo before they updated it like later in 2012 or the following year 2013. Because yeah, the first Hunger Games the first Hunger Games was the only Lionsgate film to use to use the. The, the gears and the gears and, and the heavenly sky variant like like you guys know what I mean and yeah James Newton Howard's music score is also really good too like James Newton Howard's always always a, a fun composer to listen to and yeah so overall aside from all that the the first Hunger Games was a great movie as the start of the film series. And I'm going to give The Hunger Games four stars out of five. I would also rate The Catching Fire four out of, out of five as well. While Maki J Part 1 and 2, I would rate three and a half out of five. And yes, I did give Ballad of Sombers and Snakes three and a half out of five as well. Maki J Part 1 and 2 and Ballad of Sombers and Snakes, they, they, they were good films. Three and a half out of five for them, in my opinion. While the first two, I would while the first two Hunger Games, I would give it, I would give the the first two four stars out of five. Even though I will say, I think Catching Fire, I think is just a little bit better than the first movie, but you know that's just my opinion. So yeah, if you haven't seen the Hunger Games, then and if you're if you're interested in checking out this movie, then I say I recommend giving it a watch. Even even if there even if there's some of you guys out there who have read the books before. Or, or, or in case if you're like a newcomer to the Hunger Games films and want to start with Ballad of Sombers and Snakes, then I say I recommend them. And there you have it, guys. That's my movie review on the Hunger Games. And that's going to be it for this video, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying... Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.